welcome back to the third quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, along with uh, our sidekick right here, Mr. Andrew. Good, good morning. Uh, good morning. And, of course, if it's Sunday, it's a good afternoon mm -hmm. at good 3 p.m. That's, right. That's correct. If you miss the program or you miss a part of it, it replays in its entirety. And, of course, if you have... If you're watching it on the internet's different ways of methods of internet, anytime, anytime you, want. you want to. In fact, you can probably get a, a preview of it the night before. I got an email from somebody. Uh, literally, we weren't out of the studio a whole long time. I got an email that said, boy, the show's good this week. I went, man, that didn't take <laughs> well, long. They put it on. on uh, actually, uh, Steve was mentioning that. We shouldn't mention things like that. <laughs> we let some okay. people get a, a, that works a too. early, early jump on it that's right as a matter of fact what i wanted to say we talked about the little uh the little garage sale that uh, jamie Kwame is putting on um uh, it's going to be i think i said the first but it's actually the uh september the 7th is when they're going to do it and she said she also wanted to correct me she was in st louis for nine months after that back surgery oh lord so to help little julia you can help out with that garage sale Okay. Oh, and don't forget, if you want some Zotico tickets, because this is the weekend for the Zotico Festival, text the word Zotico. That's it's next week. Next week? Next week. That's right. Yep. There next you go. Z-Y-D-E-C-O. Every Monday, when, well, not every, this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're giving away five pairs of tickets each day. So if you text the word Zotico to this number, 64636, it's a five-digit number, 64636, you can win tickets. Okay, and uh, we want to do what photos? a little bit a little bit more photos we, we got have a quite bunch. a few left yeah, and uh, we certainly have right. people that's kind of we've got the, that one and uh, we've yeah. got the um, okay. Here. okay okay and uh, this is at evangeline downs on the right is uh, our trainer carl De uh, deville from opelousas here and uh, uh the assistant uh, trainer for mr boberg who is the leading trainer here at Evangeline and uh, probably second or third most wins in the United States at the mm -hmm. present time. And this is Eddie, a real nice, knowledgeable young man who takes care of uh, Boberg's uh, racing stable here. And uh, they claim and uh, people claim on them uh, every day. And uh, these are two friends that watch the program and certainly want to uh, recognize uh, them. And, uh, I have it, I have it, I have it. Uh, the two brothers, the Bro mm -hmm. brothers, uh, Jeff Bro on the uh, left and uh, Nolan Bro on the right, uh, live in the Maurice uh, area. And uh, Jeff is retired from Sears, but he also retired uh, from the military, Louisiana National Guard, 30 years. Wow. That's Jeff. And uh, nice, nice guys. Good morning to you all. Have a good day and see you back at Evangeline. Ronald De, uh, De Villiers, hadn't seen Ronald in a long time, a uh, former from the Port Barry area. Mm -hmm. He says, boy, if there was one man I loved and, and that helped me get to where I am today, he said, it was your brother, Mr. John. Oh, yeah. John Dupre was my principal, he says, and he really believed in John, and, and a lot of them did. Thank God he had, had a good run on that. And then also uh, I have a, a note uh, here. Mm -hmm. uh, I met while I was, I stopped in at Walmart. I don't go to Walmart right. very often. That's where this picture was taken. They were walking out, apparently. Uh, inside the, the store I met Annette, uh, who uh, was a Steli and or Steli family, uh, and she was married, is married to Big Dave. You remember Big mm -hmm. Dave was our DJ here when I had Tobis. Right. Did a great job. He had some stents placed. I asked how he was doing. She said, well, he just had some stents placed. Hopefully that's going to work, because if that doesn't work, then it'll have to be open heart surgery. So uh, might keep him in, in, in your prayers. I bought about six acre track from Annette. Uh, of land when I was on Barcatabla near Washington. And on the right in your photo, Mr. Is Mr. Howard, Howard Fournier. Retired from a government job mm -hmm. and uh, now works part-time for our assessor, Ryan Duplichan. That's correct. Who was a boxer at about 85 pounds for Opelousas High School. There you go. And Mr. Howard is, uh, I can see he's got the cap and the shirt for the IFBS Lodge, of course. He's, he's a Very Prairie active. Laurent uh, 
you know, long time family, uh, I guess probably his family's one of the founders of that area, you know. So, good morning, Mr. Howard. Of course, a sacristan at St. Landry as this, well. Okay, and this is on the you way to some uh, corn? Uh, Natchez last week, and pretty. that's uh, outside of, uh, oh, uh, that's probably leaving. No, that's between Palmetto and Simsport. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful crop being harvested there, corn. Let's keep Progr moving. Let's progressive move tract, if you want to license oh, that yeah, photo, sure. y'all can, you know, we can come to good terms. Beautiful yep. stuff there. And uh, these are two uh, young men that were at the Exxon Express in Letsworth, where I get all those uh, dish delicious sweet pies and different cakes that she makes. Miss uh, Zell um, makes, and her husband Al run the own and uh, operate. That's one of the girls. The two young men right here yeah. were working at that camp, getting ready for hunting season, deer hunting season. Sure. The young man on the left, and he gave me his card. I'm sorry, I, I, it's, it's, I didn't lose it. It's just misplaced temporarily. Come up. He's a good, good friend, personal friend of uh, Louisiana State Senator Eric LaFleur, who represents part of St. Landry and Evangeline and uh, of Alls Parish. And there's Glasscock Island Hunting Club. Yep, and uh, of course across the road uh, we're going to show a camp. Uh, we're going to show Joe Fred and uh, and Yvonne. But right now this is Steve on the left, Mark uh, in the middle of the men, and uh, Mark's uh, daddy, a Wendell, Wendell uh, Whedon. And uh, Wendell lived in Avos Parish, uh, knew Vicky and Vicky all the friends. All of Vicky's friends uh, he knew, and all of his friends uh, Vicky knew, and uh, he uh, actually was the first uh, person when they had a bad airplane crash and killed, oh, maybe five people uh, in an accident there, close, good friends of everybody in a little small community like Bordelonville. And uh, he uh, sold and moved a big house, and he now he's in the restoration antique business in Natchez. Stays busy. Came over to look at some furniture that uh, I have in the little house that uh, I bought, and I'm not uh, too much on that type of style of antique uh, furniture mm -hmm. to use every day. And uh, he was brought, of course, uh, over to the house by Nick Fontenot from Grand Prairie, who stays a lot of his time in Natchez. And Miss Bernita. And, and Miss Bernita. And uh, with uh, Nick was uh, Brian uh, uh, Buller mm -hmm. from Ville Platte, now living in Grand Prairie. And a good little sunset as you're traveling around the world, and there's Rue 61. Yep, we ate dinner there oh, a nice. couple of weeks ago, and big uh, you, crowd. Look oh, the and no, it's it, and this is at 7:30. It, it starts like this at 4:30. These are my friends over at the Sprint uh, convenience store, uh -huh. store number 64. They have around 70 of these Sprint uh, stores in Mississippi, and uh, friendly, friendly staff. And uh, this is, I think, his first name is Jack. And he's one of the part-time drivers of the uh, tours, the horse-driven tours mm -hmm. uh, around the Natchez area. You want to take one of those if you possibly get an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Ride around and scout them out. And this is the Basilica Church that uh, sure attended uh, past, last past Saturday at 5 p.m. and at 10, no, yeah, no, this is at 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm you, sorry. You know, it's a Sunday morning because it's got the umbrella from Rome. That, yeah, that you told me all of that. Yeah, you know that, all of that. Neat. And uh, met a longtime friend, uh, Mark Fry, and his wife, Melissa, getting out of church, and we visited. And it uh, looks like we had never not seen each other in all those years. Uh, probably at uh, Don Oye's funeral was the last time I saw Mark. Mark uh, and his wife live in the Fort Dorsch area, but he farms a large tract of land right outside of uh, Vidalia on the Louisiana side of the river. Uh, and uh, South of Vidalia? Uh, south, south coming back this way? Yeah, coming down, mm -hmm. coming down the river. And he said it's right near it. In fact, uh, during the harvesting and planting season, like harvesting, he s lives in his uh, motorhome, which is across the highway in that River, uh, river Park uh, RV Center, right. RV Park. Kick back to me for one second. I'm going to get two sponsors in while we're at this because I realized we didn't do that when we came back from break. Let's go with J.B. Sandals. Maybe you're looking to redo that old house you got in Natchez and you got to bring up a whole bunch of stuff. You got 
old-timey knobs and old-timey things going on. They've got all the old-timey stuff at J.B. Sandals, just what you remember, the old-fashioned toilet fixtures and doorknobs and knobs that you might need. But don't forget about them newfangled stuff as well. If you're looking for some good paints, they can mix the paints to match everything that you need there. They've also got uh, uh, fencing. Maybe you're, you're a gentleman farmer, you want to put some poultry netting up, some hardware cloth, some welding wire. they got ropes, shovels, rakes, bicycles, barbecue pits, everything. It's a full-blown hardware store and houseware stuff there as well from China and Crystal as well. Good for uh, wedding gifts. J.B. Sandals only been open for 135 years. <laughs> only. Yep. And one more. Let's go with the Steamboat Warehouse while we're going old time. The Steamboat Warehouse has been built a little bit longer than J.B. Sandals, but if you want to get mom away from the smell of her own cooking, go to Washington. Try all that great Louisiana seafood, the great steaks there as well. Chef owner J Jason Hugay voted best of the best uh, on, a, a restaurant tour. Uh, chef, ambiance, service, it's all there at Steamboat Warehouse. Sit out on ba beautiful Bayou Catabla, enjoy an adult libation, maybe one of the great wines from the great wine list there as well, and good cold beer. Steamboat Warehouse in Washington. Back to our photos, right? You want to show, how about Haney's Big yeah, House? We uh, actually, we and we're going to show the motorcycle stored in the shed later, but uh, Vicki and I took a ride on the motorcycle, uh, which we're going to leave over in uh, Natchez, the Harley Davidson, and uh, took a ride. My, I had passed by here, but my uh, battery had run down on my camera, and so I couldn't take a picture. But here it is. It's a beautiful. I'm sure that was a grant. That was a grant. You can nice kind of tell hall and all porches well, for the bands heavily to play. built. Mm -hmm. Gonna last for many, many years. And his big house. Big house. Built famous since place. 1895. Yep. No and uh, beautiful. Let's show the front of it. Uh, I'm going back you, you, here. Yeah. The next picture. This one, one of the, the next back, ones. Right, right here. There you go. This is the side view of it, and right. uh, actually, you, it's a band uh, open. It's a place for a band. Band. You can have inside music, or it's also set up for dancing on the grass right there. Excellent. Uh, and then uh, we were getting hungry, and we stopped in at the Sandbar Cafe restaurant, mm -hmm. and uh, they had the Sandbar fight, the James Bowie. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, Jim Bowie was uh, a resident of Opelousas here Correct. for a number of years, as well as his brother, Resin. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is about the fight and the, the, the knife that he used became famous as the buoy and knife. That's right. And of course, uh, I'm proud owner of both, of two halves of the tree at different <laughs> times. The buoy, the the buoy, Jim Bowie Oak, Oak, Oak near the courthouse. Which is famous uh, next to the, mm -hmm. I call it, next to the Palace Cafe there. There you go. And uh, that's the owner of the place, Mr. Ricky Rollin. And uh -huh. uh, the picture above it is a picture drawn from what uh, people remembered uh, by uh, uh, an artist. Uh, painting not, of Jim not, Bowie. Not, and Ricky says, it wasn't me, Mr. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> a painting of Jim Bowie between Yes, sir. And then there's the bike. There's the bike uh, stored away safely. Mm -hmm. And you see a bed. I've got a, an extra bed that I'm going to be putting into the house I purchased. Mm -hmm. And uh, that b I bent the little opening right there. That's not good. You see how it is bent? I got to show Mac, and we got to devise something I can temporarily put over that so when I roll it in, I won't be messing up. We're going to take a one minute break. Oh, Last quarter's coming up. Folks, we'll see me. you on the other side of one.